Hi everybody, my name is Nick I'm with ETI Solid State Lighting. Thank you for joining us today on our how to retrofit and install the ETI LED tubes into a four lamp troffer. For demonstration purposes, we've removed the troffer from the ceiling and placed it on a workbench. All the same steps that you will see in this video will apply when you retrofit and install the tubes in a fixture that is already mounted in the ceiling. Let's get started. And remember, safety first. Please turn off all the power to the fixture before starting the retrofit process. The first step in this process is going to be removing the actual lamps from the existing fixture. Please dispose or recycle these items properly in accordance with local requirements as they contain mercury. And once the lamps have been removed, we will now remove the ballast cover, thus exposing the existing TA ballast. Now that the ballast cover has been removed, your next step in this retrofit will be disconnecting the power to the ballast. So the next step in this process will be to remove the socket bar so we can then <clears throat> replace the existing tombstones that are shunted tombstones with new non-shunted tombstones. And now that the socket bar has been removed, we're going to disconnect, remove the old shunted tombstones. We're going to Remove the hold down screw on the existing ballast and then remove the ballast and we always recommend disposing of that ballast in accordance with your local requirements. These are our new tombstones that will be replacing the uh, original shunted tombstones. These are non-shunted and I've pre-wired these to fit into uh, the socket bar. Um, you will see we have the two leads coming in that will connect to our main power, positive and neutral. And then each following tombstone has been daisy chain connected, also keeping uh, positive on one side, neutral on the other as well. With the new non-shunted sockets now installed into the socket bar, we're ready to replace the socket bar back into the fixture. We have also installed new non-shunted lamp holders in place of the old existing shunted lamp holders on the non-powered end of the fixture. Um, at this point, these lamp holders are exactly that, just lamp holders, as the ETI tubes are powered from just one end. Now that the socket bars have been installed, we are now ready to connect the power back up to the lamp holders and socket bars. Now that the power has been reconnected, we can now reinstall the ballast cover. With the ballast cover now installed, you're going to want to place the UL safety sticker on the ballast cover and this sticker ensures that this fixture will retain its UL listing and says that this fixture has been modified to no longer accept fluorescent lamps and will only accept ETI LED tubes. We are now ready to install the new ETI LED tubes with Intergo Ballast. Be sure to check that you are installing the power to this end, correct end, into the powered socket.
And now that the LED tubes have been installed, we are now ready to power the fixture back up. And that is how you retrofit a fixture with the ETI LED integral ballast tubes.